Ten out of ten only happened. It's like nine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you starting to feel the contractions? Yeah. We know we couldn't get here without you. are about every two minutes so she could be in labor so they're gonna check her cervix and, and go from there but yeah Got admitted because she's about five centimeters, probably more now because we walked to a whole different room. Um, this is the room, ain't much to see. <laughs> There's gonna be a baby in there soon, just to let you know if you didn't know. How you feeling? I'm getting a contraction. You eating it, it's nothing, like it's light work. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. I felt it in my butt. about to be here are you excited yeah i'm like are you excited i look like a turkey i'm really excited every time i get a contraction i just like breathe in and i'm like god you're with me you will heal me or whatever i just like think of something about god while i'm breathing and then it's like it like goes away like no epidural gang, you heard? No. <laughs> Listen, if I get too a point where I cannot handle <coughs> it, that epidural, but it's like I, I feel like I can handle it right now. I don't know. If but this is what basically, if this is what it's gonna be like, this then is what it's, it's nothing. Like, yeah. But um, my hair looks really crazy, and I'm so upset I didn't do it before I left the house. We got up at 4 a.m. Um, I never Yo, went but, to sleep. Like last night, she was up all night. I was up too. And it probably didn't look like I was up. I was up. I just kept closing my eyes, trying to sleep. 
but she just kept moving around and i'm like dang call the doc i kept periodically saying you want to just call the doctor go to the doctor she like no she keep trying to fight it and i'm just like um you like the uh the boy who cried wolf because in the beginning she would call the doctor for anything anything which is understandable but then it wouldn't be nothing and then the time that i feel like it is something where it's getting 10 times worse she like no i'm gonna just try to sit sleep through it but then at four in the morning she freaking and mind you they all coming back to back so it's not like they like one and then an hour later another one it was like freaking back to back to back the next thing you know she like crouched over on the floor i'm like oh no call your doctor <laughs> so now I didn't here. even I didn't even give them the option to be like wait two hours. I'm like I'm going to the hospital. Like I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> and thank God we came. What was the thing? Because I and, and on the on the drive here I was telling them. Um, what was the thing that ha that they did for you yesterday? The sweep thing. The membrane sweep. Oh, all right. There you go. So like basically, I, so I was like two centimeters dilated yesterday. <coughs> Um, and then, which I don't feel like I really, like, needed to do the membrane sweep, but whatever. Um, so I did that, and it basically they go in, and I think, like, into your cervix, and, like, I don't know, she did something like this. <laughs> Look it up. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so she did that around, like, five, and then around, like, eight, I started contracting a little bit, but it wasn't close at all. Like, it just, like, came and went. But then, overnight, it just got, like, more frequent. <laughs> so, yeah. But I knew, I kind of figured, only because when we got home, like, from, like, after we left the hospital and we finally got home because, oh, yeah, yesterday our, our car <laughs> decided it wanted to just not start. So we ended up having to get picked up from her mom. And then we had to wait in Norwalk for like, to like eight o'clock, I believe, 7.30, eight o'clock. And then we ended up driving home in a different car all the way to Waterbury. And then um, when we got in the house, the dogs were acting mad weird. They just kept bothering her, sniffing her and everything and i'm just like they might know something that we don't know and sure enough we here she's having a contraction don't mind her but yeah i'm gonna try to keep y'all updated <laughs> i'm gonna try to keep y'all updated as much as i could you know record as much as i, I could like I have to poop. and she keeps talking about she gotta poop the baby trying to come out and she over here gonna go poop the baby out I need to fix myself. Like, I, this is not cute. Ain't nobody worry about how you look. We waiting for Melody. <sighs> Father God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for mm. waking us up this morning, just giving us grace, mercy. We thank you for blessing us. And we just thank you for getting us to this moment we know we couldn't get here without you and i just pray that you just give my wife the strength and, and the energy to get through this giving birth, birth process and just protect her through this whole thing god you just you get you, you lay on the table with her and, and help her give birth god i pray that you just protect the baby and let her be born with no complications Start crying. I 
you about to start crying? Because as soon as I said thank you for this moment, I just felt like, like I, there was definitely a period I thought I would never be here. You know, you know how it. people say like. If he said it, we believe it. Yeah, you know how people be like, when I think about the goodness, mm -hmm. <laughs> that was one of those moments. See, this is your testimony? Yeah, man. Like this is nothing but God, seriously. Three, three miscarriages. And now she's about to be born. And now, we would tell you her name at the end of the video because I'm thinking like Vaughnisha or something like that, but we gotta discuss it. I gotta, you know. It's just so crazy. Like God really sustained us this whole pregnancy and really provided for us. And like Deuteronomy 2010, I think it is like the offspring of your body will be blessed. And every time, like, if like the, like there was one point when the dot member, when they said like they saw like a, the thing in the ultrasound. Yeah, the little black spot. They saw something like in the ultrasound once. And like, I just had that scripture to like hold on to my whole pregnancy. And now like when she's here, I have that to hold on to, like she will be blessed. <laughs> She'll be blessed in her coming and going. Like, just all these scriptures that God has given us freely that I get to pray over her and all the things. It's just like a magical, beautiful moment. <laughs> I'm about to get another contraction. So, yeah. But touching on what she was saying about the baby being blessed, this girl got more clothes yeah. than I ever had in my life. Literally. Like, it's crazy. Like, people literally started giving us so much stuff for her. Like, we have, well, I mean, we bought wipes. Well, not even we bought, like, that was with baby shower money. Yeah. <laughs> But like, like she literally needs nothing. Nothing. But what I was gonna say, I forgot. You cut me off. <laughs> Sorry. It's just so beautiful. Like the when God promises you something, and He does that thing. Like it's just so wild. Like I'm like we are standing in promise. more than enough. Yeah. More than enough. And just like I, I kept like thinking about this moment, like how is it gonna go? Like is it gonna be a dramatic like oh my god my water like you know like but like we're finally here and I'm pretty sure she's gonna be here today, like she's gonna be here today. Twenty-two twenty-four. This is amazing. So she's about six centimeters down. I don't know if I said that already. Mama G is here, aka Gigi. She's just walking to try to get the baby to come down. One. Do a ball, couple ball exercises. And we're just walking through the halls. How you feeling? No epi no epi epi episodes. Mm -hmm. Meaning no epidural. Mm -hmm. Superwoman. Yes, 
God is with it. Oh, um, it's getting real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was just on and off, and I was okay with it, but then it was throwing out some weird numbers. Okay. So okay. we'll just see if it'll. It just needs to reset. Should I stand or can I stand? Yeah, you can stand okay. standing if you want. Oh man. It's like nine out of ten. Ten out of ten only happened. It's like nine. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like what's in my butt. That's good. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't my phone, so I'm fine. The house, my kid. <laughs> it's the new dance. <laughs> it like release <laughs> pressure. <laughs> Maybe sounds good so far, but I'm watching on the outside. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. When I leave, I'm always watching. Time is it right now? One thirteen. It's one thirteen, and um, I ended up getting epidural because it was just too much. I was six centimeters dilated. I feel so thirsty right now, but I got the epidural and I was like freaking out about it. But we did it, and. They're gonna come and break my water soon because it still hasn't broken. Um, but they are anticipating that the baby will be here by tonight, <laughs> like today. So they're about to come in soon. She let me take a nap or try to take a nap because I literally have not gotten like sleep since like eight o'clock p.m. yesterday. So that's where we are right now. And I have like the chills. Fun. You still here? It's now about like what time is it? 159. 159. She's now seven centimeters. Well the last time they checked her, she was seven centimeters and they broke her water. So now it's just a waiting game. She's slumped. Also got my boy Ty bringing me some food right now because I'm starving. That's not need to know information, but I just thought I'd say it. See you? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so we here. What time is it now? Like approximately eight fourteen. Approximately eight fourteen. I don't know how many centimeters she is, but the last time they checked, it was still seven centimeters. And yeah, we just sitting here waiting. She got the uh, what's it called? Person. They had the they first first she got the what's it called? Epidural. epidural at six centimeters because we waited like four hours and she was at six when she first got the six and it didn't change from six to, to anything so pain got too crazy so she did the epidural and now she had to get then we waited another four hours right wasn't it i don't know a couple hours and she didn't and 
she didn't dilate no more. She got the seven and didn't dilate. So now they wanted her to do the Pitocin. And it's starting to work. If you look, her, her stomach right now is like kind of lopsided. The baby is all the way to the right, my right. And she uh, she's always been there like that, to be honest. That's her favorite side. Anyway, she move any other way, the baby don't like it. So we hoping that she starts coming now since they put did the Pitocin. Yeah. She started, you know. And they said with the Pitocin that it's like, it's supposed to help like make the contractions a little bit more intense so that it can help me dilate. So I just need to dilate more. So I'm at seven, hopefully it goes faster. And, and if not, then I'm gonna have to just go in there. Yeah, get out of there, girl. So. I've been sleeping a lot. Once after the epidural, I was able to take a bunch of naps because I've been up literally all night in pain. Mm -hmm. So I'm just tired and I'm starting to feel like the contractions and crap again. But yeah, we're making progress. Hopefully she's here by tonight. Yeah, she's being stubborn. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. She's like, I like it here. She wasn't ready for the world yet. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna. I'm hoping that I can, that we can record like once things get real. Um, but if not, we'll definitely talk to y'all after. Hopefully these videos come out good. Cause Facts. <laughs> They've been mad spaced out. Yeah. Okay. Mama D over there stressed. Huh. I'm just waiting. Waiting for the little girl to come. Mm -hmm. Melody, hurry up. Well, I think they seated on the board all day today. <laughs> yep, her name is Melody. Mm -hmm. We still trying to figure out the, the, the middle name. Y'all should find that out by the end of the video. Surprise, <laughs> if you didn't know already. That's all you got to say? I'm starting to get a slight headache. I so, got a booming headache um, right now. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Well, yeah, that's that for now. Touch. Mm-hmm. New position. And clearly she listens really good because now we just checked her again and she is Hello. nine Hello. centimeters. Mm -hmm. She listens to dad. And whatever the other thing is called that she gave me. Oh. What's it called again? Pitocin. She oh. listens to me and the Pitocin may be working. <laughs> it hurts now? What does it feel like? Are you starting to feel the contractions? You might as well have just not did the, sh the um. Okay, Cody, you need to hold my hand. Here. Squeeze it. I can't. Let me squeeze it. <laughs> you got a superwoman. You guys are doing great. <laughs> oh, 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 hang up. We're gonna help you with your legs, okay? Okay. We're gonna help you kind of pull them back towards you, but I want you, mm -hmm. I, I know you're not gonna be able to fully yeah. pull them back, but mm -hmm. I want you to do the motion. Okay. Curl over your Just curl over your mm -hmm. And you're gonna pull your legs here. Um, so you're gonna pull your legs towards you. Mm -hmm. We only push when you have contractions. Um, and you're gonna take a big deep breath in like you're going underwater, mm -hmm. okay? So when you're underwater, you're gonna take a big deep breath in, hold it like you're underwater, and mm -hmm. then you're gonna push down in your bottom like you're pooping, okay. okay? And so a lot of people wanna try and push up here in your belly, but the way that babies come out normal is using the muscles that you use to poop, okay? okay? So a lot of that like pushing motion actually really needs to come from the muscles in your pelvic floor. Okay. So it's the same thing that you would do to poop, okay? okay? So. Finally get to let it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, pull go ahead. towards me. Mm -hmm. Sit up a bit. Mm -hmm. and then Big deep, deep breath, breath in. Hold like it. Like you're going underwater. And hold push. it and then push. Okay. And we'll only do it when you're having a contraction because okay. I want to use the contraction patterns mm -hmm. uh, or the contraction force with your pushing okay. to try and push and have a baby. Can you tell me how long to hold it? Yes. yes. So I'm going to count to 10 while you're holding your breath. 
Let the air out. Mm -hmm. Take another deep breath in and do it again. We're going to try to do it three times with every contraction. Okay. Is okay. it possible to get up? Yeah. Yeah, we can push up with the bed a little bit more too. Or do you want to go up in the bed more? Yeah. You want to like scoot up more? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, if you grab them right here to your side rails and we'll help you, okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> No, it's great. You're like, you're going to have less heartburn after your part. No longer. <laughs> okay. Are you good with your head like that? Yep. So yeah, this is perfect. You're supporting ankle perfectly. Um, and then you're just going to pull back. So she's going to help pull, but you're going to help pull, like support her leg because she just can't feel and her legs. And when we're going back with her legs, just make sure we stay open. We don't want to like oh, close her leg. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also keep that pelvis nice and open. <laughs> you feel one coming? Okay, good. Yep, you are definitely having one. All right. Okay. So deep breath in. Hold it and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More into the <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, you're about to have a baby, so um, <laughs> so go ahead and breathe for me and hold right here. And so we're gonna get set up because <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a baby. Oh my god! <laughs> yep. So you, know, you can actually put Lay down here. Um, <laughs> can I take the <laughs> yeah, you can take it. Oh my god, Nisha! <laughs> she already coming out, yo. We're She's right, right there. <laughs> hey, Melody. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, <sighs> you about to pass out. Oh. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my if you're serious, place it down. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, uh, yes. No, I'm oh, good. I'm great. I'm okay. saying. This is saying, awesome. <laughs> she was telling me I was going to pass out. I was waiting. Okay. How you feeling? I was like, if you feel like you're going to pass out, place it down. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good. Nasia. Oh she's there. She right there? Oh my God. Yes. Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> um, like, uh, station? You're okay? You're gonna regret it if you pull on that a little bit too hard. Thank you so much. You're, oh, Nasia, you're doing right there. Take a look down. Sorry. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't think you were. Look at the head. Yeah, I see it. And she got my hair. Yes. All the hair. Oh my god. 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 When we're having all these birthday parties. Oh and my living. god! <laughs> You're having a day, Doctor. Really? I know. I, mean, I mean, me too. She's right I there. Like, I think oh my god! She's right there. She's right there. Oh yeah, my so god! Good. Like this is so good. Yeah. Nasha, that's amazing. Yeah, you're doing it like this is amazing. Okay. Yeah, so you can bring that down. Okay. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That one is coming out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I'm right here, Melody. <laughs> you can stand closer if you want. Yeah, you oh, yeah, you can stand right here. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in, all in your bottom, and push. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Big push, big push, big push. Everything you got, everything you got. You got this. Nine, ten. Let it out. Another deep breath and another push. And two, three, four, five, six. You rock star. Nice. There we go. Hi, give us our hands. Big deep breath. We got new one. One deep breath and big push. Okay, keep going, 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 keep
She mad fragile. I don't want to do nothing. Right, right. Okay. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? She's trying to get up. What are you 
Hold on. She hungry. <laughs> Yo, she left. You see how she keep lifting her head? Oh, she is Turn mad red. Yo, she literally just lifted her head and turned it. She wanted to look at me. She turned her head. What's up? What's up? You hungry, mama? <laughs> Yo. What's up? Some chunky cheeks. Yes, of course. And you can eat, drink whatever you want now, okay? <laughs> what you want to eat? Huh, some pizza? That's all I can think of at this time. When you're ready, we can wear her and everything. Yo, she's staring at me right now. Can you record this? Uh, it's recording. Hey, mom. It's your dad. You see, you see Gigi? You see Gigi? Yep. Okay. You, you, got, you got it from here, right? Yes, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I do this all the time. <laughs> You're like, oh. She is holding on to you. Oh, I'm sorry, mama. All right, she made it. Ounce, four ounces. We have a name, but we're in like we're we're like tied between two. So maybe by the end of the video, you'll know. Um. Yeah. I just wanna do one last thing. Good. All right. Father God in heaven, we thank you. We glorify your name. We 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 are so grateful right now, God. We thank you for this precious, beautiful little girl you gave us. We're so joyful. We're happy. I just pray that you continue to bless her, bless us. And I thank you for the for making the process go by so fast and easy and giving my wife the strength and energy okay, to get mom. through it. I thank you for this beautiful blessing you gave us. And I pray that you just continue to help her be healthy. Hi guys. So baby girl's here as you know and um they took her to the nursery because her body heat needed to be 97.7 but it was 93.97.3 so we did skin to skin it only went up to 97.5 so they took her to be under the warmer um but they are about to well, they came in and said she needs to be under for like a full hour, which I'm stressed because she needs to eat and I'm like breastfeeding and I'm not with her and parenting things. So, <sighs> but they said she's okay. So that just made me feel better. Um, Vaughn went to go get breakfast for us and to get a few things that i needed from the shower but i feel like we need to like catch up i feel like we need to sit down and discuss everything because girl like so much is happening <laughs> so yeah though this is like an amazing feeling to have my baby girl here but now i'm like she needs to be with me like i hate that she's not with me right now but I'm super blessed, super happy. And it really is like an amazing feeling. But yeah, I um my hands are like a little swollen. And last night when we got to our new room, I was feeling super anxious. Um, I don't know, I woke up at in the middle of the night because like the IV thing was going off. So um so I took one ring off and then my my wedding ran in the bang for the my red wedding ring in the band was like stuck so i started getting anxious i'm like oh my gosh like i'm gonna lose circulation 
so i went to the bathroom and like i started panicking so i went to the bathroom and i put water over my face and i'm like nasia relax <laughs> relax you're fine and i and then i like i said a prayer i was like god you are a well-proofed help in times of trouble and i just pulled that freaking ring on and i'm like i'm not wearing my my rings anymore for a little while until like my body gets a little bit back to normal because that scared the crap out of me but i was like oh heck no but i mean i'm definitely using this time to rest because i literally have not gotten like sleep since thursday night not even Friday, Wednesday night. So, I'm definitely using this time to just rest. And then when Vonna gets here, I'm going to shower. So, yeah. I finally got my baby back. I just showered. And she's back with me after, like, an hour and a half. That, not even, it feels like way longer. That literally stressed me out. <laughs> She just smiled. She keeps smiling. But so right now she's not. Um, she's been sleeping, so she like won't really latch. So I just called the nurse for help because my baby needs to eat. And then he might not like it, but mm -hmm. okay. yeah, she's definitely not gonna like it. Yeah. And yeah. just like that. Perfect, right there. Perfect. All right. That's good. Okay. And then <laughs> I'm gonna support the head right here okay. with the other hand. Like he likes it. Yeah, you do so fun. Oh. <laughs> Is that her name, Ella? Yeah. <laughs> this Thank is you. her name. There you go. And look at that. <laughs> look at that, mommy. Hold no. on. Okay. Just right there. Okay. First bath. It is so good, mommy. Look I know that was that. hard. That was so hard. Good job. <laughs> now she's Not smiling. She's liking it. <laughs> Good job. Did you take a shower yet? Yeah. In here? Yeah. Papa, you about to take a shower? <laughs> Baby girl, a little over 24 hours now. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me be quiet. She might wake up. But oh. it's our last day in the hospital. Getting ready to go home. Let me tell you something. She was not a happy girl last night. She, like, yesterday, she finally learned how to, like, really latch during breastfeeding. And... Like, if she wasn't getting no breastfeeding in, she would be so tight. Like, I'm talking, she'll get on, she'll latch. It'll be for like 10, 15 minutes, then she'll fall asleep. As soon as we move her, she wake up, it's up. She wanna go right back to getting that breast milk. <laughs> Alright, so we're finally leaving. Get a little Melody ready. Oh, guys, guess what her name is? Melody! <laughs> oh, her name. <laughs> What's her name? Melody Salah Graham. Here we go. Here we Little cutie pie. <laughs> so precious. She's so Little pookie. <laughs> <laughs> 